Right now, we're about two weeks away from the Pokemon DLC Part 1 being released worldwide. And you may think to yourself, wow, it's been so long since I played Pokemon Sword and Shield. I totally forgot everything I did and didn't do. Well, today, I'm going to be going over about 40 things for you to do in Pokemon Sword and Shield before the DLC releases. <laughs> Some of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video, I've already made videos on, or there are other resources that are going to help you out. So in the description down below, I'm going to have a list of all the links that can help you out and a checklist. If you want to copy and paste that, screenshot it for yourself or whatever, you do you. Number one, complete your Pokedex. That's, that's this kind of video. That's what this kind of video is going to be, where number one is catch all 400 Pokemon. <laughs> and I uh, hope you have that done, because that's going to be a big chunk. Number two is to get every single Gigantamax Pokemon currently released in the game. Most of these, except for Pikachu, Eevee, and Meowth, are right now available because every single one of these is promoted in Max Raid Dens. So you can catch all of these except for those three boys, Charmander, Milcery, and Umbreon and Espeon with the Gigantamax factors. But the rest of these, boom, get them no problem. Extra credit if you have them all as shiny. Number three, if you've completed the game and you caught your legendary dog in the post game, there's a very good chance you never went back to the slumbering wheel to battle hop for the last time. So, I mean, if you want to leave him there because it's hysterical, go for it. If not, then, you know, give him some closure. Number four is go get the beast ball. After beating the game, speak to this guy and he's going to gift you a beast ball. He's only going to give you one, so I hope you didn't waste it on something useless. I don't even know what I used mine on, but I don't have mine anymore. Number five, get yourself a Mew. You do have to buy the Pokeball Plus accessory for this, which you can redeem the Mew in either Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, or you could redeem him here. This is the only way to have a Mew with a Pokeball and you as the original trainer. The rest of them are the Red Cherish Balls, and you are not the OT, but you can be the OT if you, if you fork over that paywall. Number six, get the judge function at the battle tower. After defeating the first six trainers and defeating Leon on level three, you unlock the judge function, which allows you to see the individual stats of any Pokemon on the Pokemon screen. Number seven and eight, while we're talking about this, go to the battle tower, go to battle, and get your rank all the way up to master ball rank for singles and doubles. Uh, if you want to do that, I clearly did not. Number 9, 10, and 11 is to get the non-Golarian regional variants of Meowth, Yamask, and Cantonian Mr. Mime. Which, if you didn't know, you get these three by trading a regular Meowth at Turfield Gym for the Cantonian Meowth. You get the Unovian Yamask for trading a Golarian Yamask at Bologna. And you get a Cantonian Mr. Mime for trading an Obstagoon to the AV guy in Spikemuth. Number 12, buy every single TM in the game. I'm sure you have lots of money at this point, but get all the TMs from all the Pokemon centers, and if you have all the TRs, then great. Otherwise, get your butt into some more raid decks. With going to every Pokemon center and the battle tower, that is 44 of the 99 TMs in the game. The other 42 are in the wild or random gifts or gifts during the story, and to purchase all these will cost 1,690,000 Poké Dollars. While we're talking about buying stuff, how about, for number 13, buy every single item of clothing in the game? If you go to every store and buy one of every single item, that is a total of 6,154,320 Poké Dollars. Number 14, upgrade your Rodon bike to level 5. I would be really, really surprised if you have not done this already. Also, completing it a certain amount of times and under a certain amount of time rewards you uh, a few special prizes. There it is, TM14 Thunderwave, nice. Number 15, inside of your Pokemon camp, complete the curry decks. Wow, have I never cooked on this game? I don't think I've ever cooked on this game. I got the ingredients for it, I just never cooked. Oh wow, I could totally have more than one gigantic mix at a time, sweet. And number 16, while we're talking about cooking, cook yourself a Charizard class curry. You could do it. By the way, if you don't have any friends to cook Charizard class curry with, Try uh, going to one of the tents that's already set up from a camper and cook with them. 
For me, it was the Route 6 location. Number 17 through 24 are going to be for the individual cards for the card maker. For 17, for the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee ones, you have to have game data of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. There's a Pokemon Quest one, which you have to have game data for Pokemon Quest, which is a free download from the eShop. There is a Gigantamax card that you get after completing 30 Gigantamax raids. There are advertisements for the restaurant in Surchester and the seafood restaurant in Holberry. There's a Gigantamax Meowth card after you collect 1 million Poké Dollars. There's the Rotame card after you make 10 League cards and a Salon card after you get 10 haircuts. These, these are not them. Number 25 is to get yourself the 1% Synesty. One out of every 100 Synesties is quote unquote the authentic and evolves with a different item. That being the crack pot versus the chip pot. Also, if you ever have a way to see the bottom, the authentic one has a stamp at the bottom. Number 26, I'm gonna put in two different tiers here. One is to have one Al Creamy of every single different decoration that you can do. And the other achievement is having all 63 of them, including all the shiny ones. Number 27 is to get the Rodom catalog. After you catch yourself a Rodom in the wild, come to Winden, head to, uh, I don't remember, it's one of these houses here on the left, there's a trainer inside of there, and then, after you defeat him, you're gonna get yourself the Rodom catalog, which allows you to change the form of Rodom at any time. Number 28 is get the catch charm. Go to Sir Chester to the Hotel Iona, and, oh, I don't have this. <laughs> I thought I, I could have sworn I had this. But yeah, you go in there, you battle a guy, and you get the catch charm. Number 29, in the same room, is the oval charm. And that increases the rate in which you're gonna find eggs. And while we're at it, since you already completed the Pokedex, in the same place, get the shiny charm. Nice. Number 31 is get yourself a foreign ditto, which if you have two Nintendo Switches, you can play the game in a different language, catch a ditto, or join someone else's raid who has a five or six IV ditto, and then catch it in that language, and boom, you have yourself a foreign five or six IV ditto with your region free Nintendo Switch. Sweet. Number 32 is to expand your boxes. If you didn't know, in order to have the maximum amount of boxes in the game, you put one Pokemon in each of your available boxes, exit out of your Pokemon view, come back, do on that, do that, so on and so forth, until you have all eight, 16, 32 boxes. Sweet. Number 33 is to have a living dex, which I've actually already transferred my Pokemon into Pokemon Home. But a living dex is essentially having one of every single one of your Pokemon alive. So not just Charizard, but also a Charmander and a Charmeleon, put them in Pokedex order. And you know what? If we're going crazy about it, how about you get your extended living dex that includes all five different Rodom forms at the same time, the other C, Basculin, the other gendered Frillish, Jellicent, Hippodon, and Hippotop, Hip, 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 Hippopotus. Hippopotus, all three sizes of Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist, the three regional Pokemon that aren't Pokedex entries, and 62 different Alcremie forms. Boom. <laughs> number 39, let's up that number from the original 483 to a total of 529, including all the transferable Pokemon, meaning Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise, Mewtwo, Mew if you didn't get the Pokeball Plus, Jirachi, Cobalion, Tarakian, Verizian, Two Reshiram, two Zekarom, three Kiram, so you can fuse them. Keldeo, without hacking. Aralit, Dartrix, Decidueye, Lydon, Tauracat, Incineroar, Poplio, Brion, Primarina, Cosmog, Cosmium, two Sogelio, two Lunala, three Necrozma, so you can fuse them. Amar Shadow, Zeraora, Meltan, Melmetal, Alolan Raichu, Vulpix, Ninetales, Diglett, Dugtrio, Meowth, and Persian. Number 40, after the time that this video goes live, transfer one Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield into Pokemon Bank, save your game, open up Pokemon Home on your phone, and collect yourself hidden and ability Grookey, Sobble, and Scorbunny. Fun fact that these Pokemon are not shiny locked, so you actually have a chance of getting yourself a shiny one, which is pretty dope. And number 41 is to get those hidden ability starters and breed them down for six IVs and shinies in Pokemon Sword and Shield before the DLC drops, just in case you can give them the G-Max soup so that they can get the G-Max trait. Number 42 is to get the Galarian Slowpoke that you caught at Wedgehurst Station, breed it down and get yourself two shiny ones. One so it could evolve into Galarian Slowbro, and one so it could evolve into Galarian Slow King once DLC 2 comes out. Number 43, 
actually buy the expansion pass. <laughs> that way the pop-up stops showing up on your menu screen. And as a bonus, number 44, Organize Pokemon home like you said you always would, but you just quote unquote never got around to. And there we have it y'all. 43 things for you to do in Pokemon Sword and Shield before the DLC drops. I'm not saying you have to do all of them, but you know what? Do them now. What better time than while you're probably stuck home with nothing else to do, just waiting for this to happen. Well guys, I'm going to be covering the DLC here on this channel. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.